okay let's start so today the topic of a video will be solution of pdf of the form uh, using uh, charpitz method in the same form we will be uh, we were discussing in the last video f x y z p q is equal to 0 right that is uh, the first order differential equation pde right and uh, as we have discussed the derivation of charpitz method and uh, some examples so i will be continuing some examples in this video right so taking my first example, <coughs> uh, example number one, let me take p square minus y square q is equal to, uh, let me take uh, y square minus x square, right? So you can see that we have a p and q present in this equation, right? And moreover, the p uh, is containing power 2, right? So it is a a first order PDE but not of first degree right and that's why uh, the charpitz method comes into play right uh, charpitz method can always be used uh, when there are terms like uh, derivatives like small p and small q uh, whatever is their power right okay so first writing in in this form solution let me write it here f right is equal to p square minus y square q minus y square plus x square equal to 0 right okay then applying a uh, charpitz subsidiary equation or you call it uh, auxiliary equations right then dx upon minus f p right and dy upon minus f q right dz over minus p f p minus q f q is equal to dp over p f z plus f x d q over Q F Z plus F Y. So you have to remember these auxiliary equations. Uh, these are five ratio terms, right? Then, or the, this gives d x over del F by del P. If we differentiate this with respect to small p, that will give me minus of two p, right? And d y del F over del Q will give me. Uh, minus y square right okay and dz will give me a p times this and q times this that will be minus 2p square minus q y square right okay then uh, dp over p times del f over del z and del f over del z is 0 because there is no z present in this f right so it will be 0 plus del f over del x and that should be twice of x twice x equal to dq over q times del f over del z is again 0 and del f over del y uh, is minus minus 2y q and I think minus 2y, yes, right, okay. So, out of these five ratios, uh, if I take these three ratios, this and this, no, or uh, this is 2x, this is, uh, let me simplify it first, or dx over minus twice of p, Oh, uh, may I take these two ratios equal, the first and the fourth ratio, because this is involving dxp and dpx that can be integrated, right? So choosing any two ratios so that you can perform integration on it, uh, let me choose the first and the fourth ratio, that is my dp over 2x, right? And then 2 and 2 will be cancelled out, right? 2, 2 will be cancelled out, then it will give me pd minus p dpx dx, then taking the same side that will uh, give p dp 
plus x dx and on performing integration i will get p square by 2 plus x square by 2 equal to let me write it a square by 2 right and that will produce a constant of integration is this time a square by 2 i have taken a square by 2 in order to cancel this 2 completely then i will be getting <coughs> or p square plus x square is equal to a square this is my first uh, let me call this equation as first equation first and this is my second right so you can see that i have obtained p in terms of x right and the next target is to obtain q in terms of x and that is generally uh, done by uh, substituting p from this equation number two and equation number one i will get q is equal to some function of x y or z right so substituting second and first use equation number two in equation number one right and this is my equation number one that is a uh, p square plus x square that will be here then p square plus x square will be equal to a square then i will be getting something like a square minus y square q is equal to y square yes is equal to y square so i can obtain q from here right okay then uh, solving it for q this will give me uh, implies q is equal to q is equal to the y square q right a q is equal to a square plus y square over y square right or you can write it as okay leave it so q is obtained in terms of y right now my, my next target will be using the equation then using dz equal to p dx plus q dy and notice that uh, this equation is uh, direct is a direct implication of this these three ratios if you multiply this by p p p and the q q and you add them you will get p f minus p f p minus q f q in the denominator but what about the numerator that is actually p dz is actually p dx plus q dy that is the obvious from these three ratios right see the denominator uh, if you multiply this denominator by p and this by q and you add them you will get the denominator of the third term right okay but by doing so you have to uh, multiply the same p here and multiply q here and then add them then automatically dz will be equal to pdx plus q dy by the properties of ratio and that's what uh, we use at this step dz equal to pdx plus q dy right this is a an direct app implication from these three ratios okay so dz is actually pdx plus q dy hidden right hidden in calculation okay so substituting values of p what is my p p is actually oh p will be a uh, square root of a square minus a x square taking the positive square root okay the value of p from here and dx and the value of q will be and that will be under root of a square plus y square over y and here i have dy right and now i see that um, i can integrate this yes okay that's fine uh, may i integrate this we have formula for this and is there any formula to integrate this if i put a square plus y square equal to p square then yes maybe okay let me try it okay a square plus y square by y right right now on integration uh, on integrating right uh, integrating this will give me z integration of this will give me under root a square minus x square the formula is x by 2 under root a square minus x square plus a square by 2 sine inverse x upon a right you have to remember this formula this is for integration of this under root a square minus x square dx this formula right okay then integration of this thing okay if i put y is equal to okay plus integration of a square plus y square root y dy okay then uh, integration of uh, this will be um, if i put uh, this is equal to t square 
and I will be getting T here, right? And here 2T dt, right? And in the denominator, T square minus something, right? Okay. Let me uh, call it I1. This one is equal to I, say, for this term. Right, and I will substitute the value of I1 here. Equation number three. And here, I is equal to integration of, is under root A squared plus Y squared over Y, D, Y, right? And how to integrate it? If I put y is equal to a ten theta, that is also possible. Okay, then this will produce cos theta here. Okay, and uh, if I put a square plus y square equal to t square, then that will produce y dy equal to t dt. Okay, right, and uh, that will give me i is equal to integral t and dy will be replaced by t dt and the denominator will be replaced by t square minus a square okay right okay now you can see that uh, this is actually t square then t square minus a square plus a square this is also possible t square minus a square and the square root dt right okay then splitting this term will give me t square minus a square over this will give me under root of t square minus a square and dt plus a square over t square minus a square dt right okay implies i equal to integration of this will be the same formula t by 2 t by 2 under root t square minus a square uh, and this is actually t square minus a square and that was a square minus a square the formula is different and uh, i think uh, the second term is minus a square by 2 log t plus t square minus a square you have to remember all the formula right you have uh, used this formula in your higher secondary course okay so this was this and uh, for this a square will appear outside an integration of 1 over under root x square minus a square that is actually equal to uh, yeah log t plus under root t square minus a square right and then constant of integration plus b plus b b is a constant of integration so this is the value of i which i will substitute there right and remember that what is t t is actually uh, positive square root of a square plus y square uh, I will be going to substitute this i in equation number 3. Therefore, equation number 3 becomes z is equal to x over 2 under root a square minus x square plus a square over 2 sine inverse x over a. This is the first term. And the value of this capital I is given by this. And what is t? t is actually square under root of a square plus y square. So if I put under root a square plus y square, and here t square minus a square will be y. And then ultimately I will be getting something like y upon 2 and that will be under root a square plus y square. And here I will have minus a square by 2 and it will be the value of t and then t square minus a square will be y. Okay. And log y plus the value of t that will be under root a square plus y square. Right. Okay. And plus a square right okay these two terms yeah that will uh, produce a square by 2 if you add these two terms that will produce a square upon 2 and let me write a square by 2 here no need to write this again okay plus the constant of integration b so this is the required solution is solution you can see that there are two arbitrary constants present here right uh, one is small a and one is small v right and obviously uh, that should be because the uh, that was the first order pde right okay so this is the required solution but uh, uh, remember that you have to uh, apply all the uh, formulae using in that are used in integration formula for this one under root a square minus x square the formula for this one 
uh, under root x square minus x a square and then 1 upon root x square minus a square. This is a complete solution, right? Now taking another example, uh, first uh, I should rub this. Okay, so second example is uh, example number two, right? Uh, let me take uh, um, z square p square z square plus q square and uh, on the right hand side I can take uh, uh, let me take is equal to 1 right 1 this is q square okay fine so again you can see that in this example I have p square right the first derivative appearing with the power of 2 and the q is also q square right okay then uh, first I will write this equation in standard notation and that is here f equal to multiplying it I will get p square z to the power 4 and then q square z square minus 1 equal to 0 right okay and now using those uh, charpitz auxiliary equation uh, dx over minus del f over del p is equal to dy over minus del f over del q then dz over minus p fp minus q fq is equal to dp over uh, p f z plus fx right equal to dq over q f z plus f y right or dx over del f over del p differentiating this respect to p and that is i think twice of p z to the power 4 and dy del f over del q differentiating with respect to q and that will give me uh, minus 2q z square then dz will be given by p times f and so on uh, you should multiply this by p and q and then add right this is as simple it will give me minus how much 2 yes p square and z to the power 4 minus 2 q square z square right and dp upon p times of fz p times fz fz will be Okay, Fz will be uh, 4p square z cube plus 2q square z and then f of x differentiating this with respect to x that will be 0 because there is no x. Similarly, uh, dq over q times pz and pz is the same value uh, 4p square z cube plus twice of q square z so these are my five ratios and now it is up to you on that uh, which ratio you will choose in order to get p and q in as the same uh, functions of x and y and let me choose the last two ratios because you can see that uh, the same factor is appearing in the de denominator of dp and dq so um, choosing the last two ratios will be easy right and that will allow us uh, to find relationship between p and q this time and then I will get to, by some manipulation the values of P and Q in terms of X and Y. And let me uh, write this as equation number one. Okay. And uh, taking the last two ratios, taking DP over P and uh, 4P square Z cube plus twice Q square Z equal to DQ over Q. 4p square z cube plus twice q square z then this will be cancelled and i will be getting dp by p dq by q and then on in performing integration i will be getting log p equal to log q plus log c so ultimately i will be getting p is equal to qc right uh, on integration that will give me p is equal to a q where a is the constant of integration right i am not writing that is a constant of integration and in this case i have obtained a relationship rather than the values of p in terms of x and y explicitly 
so i will plug in this p here in equation 1 and then i will be able to find q in terms of x or y whatever right so substitute p is equal to a times q in equation number 1 right and that will give me z square times and the value of p square will be a square q square and okay and then z square fine plus q square equal to 1 i have to find uh, q from here remember that and let me take q square common and that will give me q square and inside bracket a square z square plus 1 z square equal to 1 and that will give me q is equal to that will appear the 1 over z square root of a square z square plus 1 so this is the value of q in terms of z explicitly and i have taken positive square root right okay so this is my q explicitly in terms of x y and z and uh, plugging this q here in equation number 2 i will get p in terms of x y z okay this is my q equation number 3 so third in third in second that will give me the value of p that is p is equal to a small a upon z over a square z square plus 1 so this is my q equation number 4 now after obtaining a small p and a small q in terms of x y z then i will be using the equation dz is equal to p dx plus q dy right okay then on plugging the values of p and q i will be getting uh, something like it will be appear in the denominator right okay and that will be cross multiplied so that will give me z times under root a square z square plus 1 dz is equal to p dx so a dx and q dy that will be i think dy right am i right okay okay fine now i have to integrate this okay uh, let me do some manipulations on integrating integrating let me write it as uh, uh, twice a square z and balancing by 1 upon 2 a square and a square z square plus 1 whole to the power half dz is equal to integration a dx plus integral dy right and now see this what uh, i have done i have multiplied and uh, divided by 2a square and y uh, the reason is that uh, the differentiation of this term inside the bracket is actually uh, 2a square z right 2a square z differentiation of this is 2a square z and uh, that was my target that 2a square z should be outside the bracket and that's why i divided by 1 upon 2a square right and uh, I remember the formula and uh, the formula is if you have some function here suppose this is fz and fz to the power something n fz to the power n and beside that that you have f dash z means the derivative of this term is that the bracket is present here then the answer is always 1 over 2 a square uh, a square z square plus 1 whole to the power 3 by 2 and over 3 by 2 so this is the formula i have used directly in spite of assuming this as t and then using the substitution rule you can uh, use the formula directly i will write that formula the formula is i will put hash use this formula the formula is integral f dash x and inside bracket you have fx whole to the power n dx then the result is fx whole to the power n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c so this is the formula I have used here in order to simplify the cal calculation right you can see that this is your fz and this is your f dash z and the n in place of n i have half so use this formula the result is this okay and the right hand side is a x plus y and another constant b right and let me multiply the two and two will be cancelled out and three a square will appear here and ultimately i will be getting something like a square z square plus one whole to the power three by two and right the two and two will be cancelled out and this three a square will appear here that will give me three a cube x plus three 
a square let me take it outside 3 a square 3 a square and inside bracket i'm having ax plus y right and uh, plus 3 ab let me write it another constant b right or may I, may I write here c then that will be b means 3a square 3a square c here 3a square c is taken as new constant b you can play with the constants this is the answer or you may uh, do the 2 by 3 power on both sides and then this is fine okay so this is the solution is solution right okay so taking another example example number three uh, let me change this equation so example number three right uh, let me take px plus qy is equal to pq this is my example number three right and the solution uh, here f that is px plus qy minus pq equal to zero right and i have the subsidiary equations right okay and let me find del f by del p from here that will be i think minus x and then uh, i think minus q yes then del f by del q and with respect to q the differentiation will be minus that will produce y minus p right okay then d z and p times of this and q times of this and adding then then i will be getting my uh, plus p q and plus p q that will appear 2 p q and then minus px and minus qy equal to dp over uh, p times of fz obviously uh, z is not present so del f by del z will be zero and uh, that is a good thing so zero plus del f over del x and that is i think p similarly dq q times zero plus del f over del y that is q right again you can see that it is obviously uh, natural that you will take these two ratios right because dp over p and dq over q you will be obtaining a relationship between p and q and then using this equation number one we will find p and q in terms of x and y explicitly right so taking the last two ratios taking dp over p is equal to dq over q and the performing integration i will be getting p is equal to a q let me take it equation number two right then plugging this equation 2 in equation 1 substitute p is equal to a q in equation number 1 then i will be getting a q x plus q y is equal to a q square right so is it possible to find q from here mm, right uh, let me write it as a uh, this way taking a here and then i will take q common out of them i'll be getting a q minus a x minus y is equal to zero right and now since these, these are two product terms equal to zero so the possibility is implies q equal to zero this factor zero or a q is equal to a q minus x minus y or a q is equal to a x plus y over a right so there are two possibilities and this is a good point so what happens if i take q is equal to zero and what happens if i take q is equal to this a x plus y upon a and uh, let me discuss them one by one taking q is equal to zero first if i choose q is equal to zero then what will happen uh, right if i choose q equal to 0 then plugging this q is equal to 0 here in equation number 2 i will get p is equal to 0 from equation number 2 right and if p is equal to 0 and q is equal to 0 then my then dz 
will be p dx plus q dy and that will be dz equal to zero and that will implies me z is equal to some constant and let the constant be c right in that case this is the solution one of the solution z equal to c will be the solution right and you should verify that whether z equal to c is actually in solution of this equation right we'll see that z equal to c if this is the solution then it has to satisfy this equation right and so finding p from here small p that is del z over del x that will be zero del z over del y that will again be zero so plugging those del z over del x and del z over del y there is small p and small q here i will get zero x plus zero y the left hand side is completely zero and the right hand side is completely zero means that this is satisfying this equation number one means it is a solution yes right z equal to c is the solution of this uh, given pde and if i take this q is equal to this then what will happen if q is equal to ax plus y over a right if i take q is equal to this and then uh, plugging this q here in equation number two then i will be getting p is equal to a times of q that will be ax plus y from equation number two right in that case q is equal to this and p is equal to this and that well what will be my dz then dz equal to p dx plus q dy right will give me a uh, dz the value of p this value of p ax plus y mm, dx plus ax plus y over a dy right now i have to integrate this okay and uh, right okay now if you remember the exact differential equation from the uh, i think uh, first or second semester course second semester course right then uh, you remember that dz is equal to you have some equation capital m dx plus capital n dy right then you say that the equation is exact if del m over del y is equal to del n over del x right then you see that the equation is exact and the solution is given by integration of m dx treating um, the terms containing y as treating the y as constant right and the integration of n dy ignoring the terms uh, that are already occurred in the integration of m dx right if you remember that a uh, method uh, differential equation exact differential equation m dx plus n dy form i will uh, recall you by writing that uh, so i'm uh, first i'm um, completing the solution then i will write the overview of that method <coughs> on integration integrating both sides that will give me z right and the integration of this will be c here integration of this with respect to x will be a x square by 2 plus x y remember that y is treated as a constant in this method right okay and the integration of this with respect to y a and a will be cancelled out integration of x will be with respect to y that will be x y but remember that x y has already occurred in the integration of the first term right and that's why uh, integration will be x y but i will remove that term because that has already been appeared here right and now integration of the second term that will be uh, y square over 2a i have to retain this term because that is not appeared before right and constant plus b then the complete solution will be written as means you can take something common common or uh, yes if i take a small 1 by 2a small a common 1 upon 2a common from these three terms then i will be getting a square x square and plus uh, two times a x y and plus y square plus b and that will give me 1 over 2a that will be perfect square ax plus y whole square plus b this will be the solution is solution right and let me put a star at this step i will explain this step again note the explanation of that star step the step uh, we have this equation m dx plus n dy equal to zero is exact differential equation if del m over del y equal to del n over del x right you say that that this equation is exact if 
the partial derivative of this term with respect to y is equal to the partial derivative of this term with respect to x and you can verify that this situation is happening here you can differentiate this with respect to y you will get one all right and you can differentiate this capital n with respect to x uh, i think you will again get one uh, since one equal to one means del m what del y is equal to del n what del x is satisfied uh, then the solution is given by is integration of m dx and treat y as constant plus integration n dy uh, treat x as constant and ignore terms that already appeared in integration of m dx right and the integration of zero is obviously some constant c so this was our method which you have definitely studied in second semester in differential equation chapter right and that's what i have used at this point right means you have to ignore those terms uh, which already occurred in the integration of this m dx right okay so this is a solution of this uh, pde i will take the last example right so taking my last example uh, px plus qy is equal to z times uh, the left hand side is same i have taken it same z times under root 1 plus p q right okay and here example number 4 f is equal to px plus qy minus z times under root 1 plus p q Okay, fine then on the formula this is the formula dy over minus of f q and then this is our same formula okay right now dx over del f by del p and that will give me um, del f by del v then del p that will give me minus x minus that will appear z by 2 z by 2 under root 1 plus pq and differential with respect to p will give me q right so this will be okay similarly dy over minus y minus z p over under root 1 plus pq fine then dz is equal to this p multiplied by this and q multiplied by this and then adding them i think i will get minus px minus qy minus 2 not 2 yeah 2 z p q over under root 1 plus pq okay then uh, let me write dp over okay focus on this term p times of fz that will give me p times of fz will give me uh, p times fz differentiating it with respect to z that will give me minus under root 1 plus pq right p times of fz fine okay and then plus fx differentiating with respect to x will give me plus p plus a small p and similarly dq over a q times fz that is again minus under root 1 plus pq and plus q i think right fy so these are my auxiliary equations and uh, there are big questions that which two ratios should be taken in order to get a relationship between p and q or um, p and q explicitly in terms of x and y and let me take the last two ratios i'm seeing that okay these will cancel okay uh, take last two ratios taking uh, dp over if i take p common then i will be getting this plus one okay that will be cancelled and i will be getting uh, dp over p and dq over q finally after cancellation of the uh, one denominator factor that will be i think one plus one minus under root of one plus pq fine and then on integration integrating it i will be getting p is equal to a q this is my second equation and this is my first equation 
let this be equation number one. So I have obtained relationship between P and Q. And now my task is to find P in terms of X and Y. If I plug in this P here, then, uh, okay, let me do it. Uh, second in first, if I plug in here, that time, then I will be getting uh, A Q X plus Q Y equal to Z under root one plus a q square right this is fine and my target is to obtain q right and uh, if i hmm, and my target is to obtain q and then if i square on both sides a q square x okay let me square it Okay, let me square it. Squaring. That will give me a square q square x square plus q square y square and that will be z square 1 plus a q square, right? And uh, none of the term will be cancelled. Okay, that's fine. And then taking q square, so inside q square will be common and inside bracket I will be having a square x square uh, minus plus y square and minus a z square equals to z square and uh, the value of q will be taking positive square root of z over under root a square x square plus y square minus a z square right this is the value of q explicitly in terms of x y and z but that is complicated okay and if I plug in this K, Q here, then I will be getting, that will be equation number 3. Uh, 3 in 2 will give me P is equal to uh, A times Z over under root A square X square plus Y square minus A Z square. Okay. Now, so P and Q are obtained in terms of X, Y, and Z. Then the, our next target is to opt perform the integration right and then now then using dz is equal to p dx plus q dy and plugging the values of p i will not write that okay plugging the values of p and q i will get this here <coughs> or should i write it as dz equal to and the z can be taken here z dz over p dx a dx plus q dy dy over this thing a square x square plus y square minus a z square right something like this mm -hmm. right but that will uh, not ease my calculation right because uh, this a square x square plus y square is present here and uh, I have to recheck my calculation that how it appeared a square x square at this step p is equal to a q that is fine okay uh, I have taken p common here 1 minus this thing q. okay fine that is fine p q equal okay then a q in place of a q x plus q y z times 1 plus a q a q square that's fine a square q square okay that will be square okay one item I missed one term whole square of this thing plus twice of okay plus 2a q square xy right and here i had z square 1 plus a q square now that will be changed i think and the q square was taken common then one more term was, was there minus uh, 2a xy right minus 2 xy and uh, if i write minus 2 no, no sorry plus 2x 2axy and that will produce ax plus y whole square and ax plus y whole square and then that z square is there then minus q square minus z square now it's fine okay and that will be ax plus y whole square x plus y whole square like this and i think that is a z square that is z a z a q a it should be here 
kz square minus a z square now it's fine q is this then that will be changed ax plus y whole square x plus y whole square fine okay this is now now it is integrable okay right now uh, if i put ax plus y is equal to let ax plus y is equal to let me put it t right and why i'm doing this because i have i cannot integrate with dz dx and dy right okay i will try to convert it into od means variable separable form ode if i put x plus y equal to t then that will be a dx plus dy equal to dt and that will give me uh, then dz over z is equal to dt over under root t square minus a z square uh, can i integrate this maybe yes or no no yeah okay dz by dt dt by dz yes then it will give me dt over dz and that will produce uh, dt over dz and this thing here okay mm. equal to t square minus a z square over over dt over dz over z right and if you see this uh, it's clear that this is uh, homogeneous ODE if we remember that this is from uh, again um, higher secondary course homogeneous ODE where you can substitute T is equal to ZV right homogeneous in variables T and Z because the degree is 1 right here the, the degree is also 1 so put I think T should be replaced by V times of Z and that will produce DT over dz is equal to v times 1 plus z times dv over dz then it will give me then dt over dz will be v plus z dv over dz equal to under root of the value of t square will be v square z square and then z will be common i think v square uh, minus a if i'm right this is again a yes it was a fine it was a okay and uh, in the denominator i am having z and then this z will be cancelled out and this v will appear here hmm. okay then v will appear here then dv over dz is equal to z is here huh? remember that z okay then uh, v square minus a and minus v can i separate them yes this is a, a variable separable form i can write it as dv over under root v square minus a minus v is equal to dz over z now comes the integration to play then it will give me i have to rationalize it i think yes i have to rationalize it I rationalize, rationalizing this with under root v square minus a plus v then i will be obtaining uh, yes i will be obtaining v square minus a uh, plus v in the numerator and in the denominator i will be getting v square minus a minus v square and v square will cancel minus one upon a square minus a square okay dv and equal to dz over z is it integrable now let me apply the formula directly then the integration of this will be uh, let me put let me put a is equal to uh, capital a right a is equal to capital a square here right in that case it will become under root v square minus a square dv plus v dv is equal to minus of a square then it will become a to the power 4 dz over z now i have substituted it small a is equal to capital a square in order to avoid that square root of a term right then the integration performing integration that will give me integration of this under root v square minus a square that will be v by 2 under root v square minus a square and plus log no not log v by 2 okay minus a square by 2 minus a square by 2 log v plus under root v square minus a square plus v square by 2 is equal to minus a to the power 4 log z i think log z is correct yes it was log z right 
and plus a new constant let it be b right and then substituting back the value of a small v v is actually there is my small v v is actually t over z right where v is actually t over z right so is it the complete solution uh yeah it is a complete solution where is my z but it was dz upon z where is my z yes this is a complete solution z is appearing here uh, z can be expressed in terms of x and y by putting v is equal to t by z and what was my t t was t was ax plus by so i should write it as v is equal to ax plus y over z is the complete solution is complete solution this is the final solution right okay so this is it for this video uh, charpet's method is now completed in the next video we will be doing some more on uh, pde thank you so much thanks <laughs>